Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. 2.46 this morning, a little tired, but I gotta get to the gym to train somebody. But I wanna let you guys know I've got a new product. It's not new, but it's new to me. Um, GI Juice from Redcon 1. This is a digestive enzyme product, uh, like a greens and digestive enzyme product. It contains basically a shitload of digestive enzymes and then a mixture of fruits and vegetables in it. Um, so I've been having this every morning first thing when I wake up and drinking this when I take my organ supplements. And, uh, and I feel like it has actually really helped reduce like bloating um, it's really improved my digestion. Yeah, so like I like yesterday, for example, I had it first thing in the morning and then I didn't eat until like one or two. Um, and I had a scoop of this again, like right before eating. And you guys saw yesterday I had that big bowl of food. Yeah, that digested super easy. I didn't really feel like full for that long um, and I attribute that to this. I think it is definitely worth giving a shot. I think you guys should try it out. Um, I got pineapple banana flavor and it is pretty good. So yeah, GI Juice, Redcon1.com. If you want 20% off and want to support my channel, use my code T20ChaseI and I would greatly appreciate it. So one scoop of this into about 10 ounces of water. It actually tastes like pineapple banana. It's kind of strange. So what's going on today? Well, as I said in yesterday's video, I'm not working out today. I'm not working out tomorrow because we're getting our blood test done on Saturday. We're getting our blood drawn Saturday. So it's important not to work out um, about 72 hours or so in advance of getting your blood drawn. So I'm gonna go in, train this client. I am gonna do cardio, so just light cardio, just to get my heart rate up a little bit, sweat a little bit, but yeah. Keeping my heart rate around 130 beats per minute. Nothing crazy for just 20 minutes. So I've just got this one client this morning, I'm gonna train him, then I'm going to do my little jog, and then I'm gonna come back home, and I'm going to eat meal one. So. Today's gonna be a full day of eating for you guys. I haven't done that in a little bit, so uh, stay tuned for that. Remember, if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that, that helps out the video, helps out the channel. So uh, yeah, let's uh, get this day started. Same song is on two channels. Take it down now. Take it down. What the hell? Take it. Of the many saints of Newark, we may be giving that. Alright guys, so just got home, 
Got in a 20 minute little jog there, burned about 250 calories. Uh, we are getting meal one in. I'm doing one uh, or half a cup of raw oats, just cooked. We're going to put in one scoop of MRE Light. This is the s'mores flavor. I ran out of peanut butter cookie, but s'mores is a good second place. So we're just gonna do one scoop of this on top of that. And then we're gonna stir all the way. And then we're gonna take a spoonful of this Ceylon cinnamon, which is about five grams. And then we'll stir this up. Guys, I'm going a little bit lower on carbs today because I'm not lifting. No reason for the extra in there. Plus, I don't need to give my body any reason to have high blood sugar the next couple days considering we're getting our blood test done. I'm only going to be eating what I need today and tomorrow. So that is all mixed up. Now we're gonna add in frozen blueberries. 100 grams of that. And then we stir that up. I prefer to use frozen blueberries because it helps cool this off. It's very hot. All right, and then we're gonna add in 250 grams of 5% fat Greek yogurt, which should be everything that is left in here. One of these containers I can get four servings out of, four, 200, four 250 gram servings. So I go through one of these in two days because usually I have this meal two times a day. And then we stir that in. And then last, on the list, we're going to add one banana because it is an excellent potassium source. But yeah, I usually do this meal, you know, first in the day and then last in the day <clears throat> because it's easy and it is really good. And there we go. Meal one. In the books. Alright, so I am going to eat that. Chill out for a little bit. And then put meal two together. So I will see you guys in a couple hours. Alright guys, so we are getting meal two put together. We've got uh, five ounces of kidney beans. Whoa, I can barely talk. Half a cup of raw rice. Um, so kind of a little bit less than what I usually do. Usually I do a cup. Um, and then we're cooking a pound of 93.7 grass-fed ground beef with 250 grams of spinach. However, that I'm going to split up into three meals. So, uh, yeah, not having all that at once. We're gonna have a little bit for meal two, a little bit of it for meal three, and a little bit for meal four. So that is what's going on, and we're just uh, waiting for the rice to cook, so.
All right, guys, we are putting together meal three now, and uh, no surprises here, it's the exact same as meal two. So I am basically having another half a cup of rice, weighed raw, and then I'm doing half of what I have left over of my beef and spinach, and then another cup of kidney beans with four ounces of bone broth. So I will show you what that looks like. Alright guys, so it is time for meal four. We're doing 12 ounces of sweet potato, the rest of the ground beef and spinach, and two whole eggs with some bone broth dumped on top of all that. Um, and I just, I, <sighs> so I just saw something on YouTube that is, it's just, it's shocking. I mean, so, um, I mean, this month has just been pretty crazy for the fitness industry and the bodybuilding industry. And with like Sean Roden getting accused of rape, um, and then Jeremy Buendia's girlfriends coming up, coming, ex girlfriends coming out about him being abusive. And as of about, Three hours ago, Larry Wheels' ex-girlfriend coming out about him beating her um, with audio proof. And it doesn't sound very good. Like, listening to it, like, uh, yeah, girls, you know, women just should not be put in a position to sound like the way that she sounded on that video and yeah he sounded really angry <laughs> um yeah it's just it's i don't know i just want to help spread awareness about this so i'm just letting you guys know that there's a lot of shit going on and you know it's it's just And part of me, like, wants to look at this from, like, a mental disorder perspective, you know? I mean, because, yes, you know, it's very simple to call these guys pieces of shit, you know, if they are guilty and that, you know, they deserve to be beaten as well, which, I mean... I mean, it's just such a, a wrong thing that's going on, but I haven't looked into this at all. So don't, you know, try to attack me for saying this, but is there, is, is, uh, you know, being an abusive person, like, is there some sort of like diagnosable disorder that, that people need to get help for because I mean I mean if there is the saying that they're pieces of shit I just I don't I don't feel like that's like right I don't know it's just because if you know my background with not, not beating women, but my background with my dad and how he was an alcoholic and, and that has such a negative connotation, but because it's something that he couldn't help, like he couldn't help being 
well, an alcoholic and a drug addict. Like, he couldn't help those things. Like, he, there, because it, it's, when you're dependent on that kind of stuff, when your mind, when you're not in control, you know, you, that person needs help. You don't, you can't just say that they're a piece of shit. Like, that person is, is struggling and needs some sort of help. Now, I'm comparing being an abuser to being an alcoholic. <laughs> but the thing is, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not educated on it to say whether or not, you know, that there is some sort of like mental disorder with, with beating, you know, dominating people smaller than you, like women and or animals. Um, that's kind of the angle that I come at it is that I think that these people are sick in the head and need help. Like there's, I mean, it's good that they're being outed for it, you know, if it's true and, and hopefully it will get them the help that they need. Um, because yeah, it's like, I mean, cause Larry Wheels has shared his whole background about how his mom used to get abused and you know, how, I mean, I think he was like a little drug addict or something like that, or I, it's just, he had a really tough upbringing and now he is displaying this some sort of uh, physical aggression on weights and on his women. And Jeremy Buendia apparently had a tough growing up. Same thing with him, you know. It's like, it's hard for me to say that we should show these guys some compassion and that we need to get them help because they can be good people. But at the same time, it's like, you know, it's so easy to just call them like you're a piece of shit because you're beating women, which I feel that way. I feel, I feel like, yes, you are a piece of shit, but at the same time, my history kicks in and is like, these people need help. Like there's something wrong with them in the brain. So, you know, I mean, what do you guys think of this? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, I just wanted to kind of bring it to light to you guys because, uh, yeah, these things need to be shared and talked about so that the community knows what's going on. And uh, hopefully these guys can get some help soon, um, you know, and pay for the actions that may or may not have taken place. So um, just what do you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Um, anyways, that's, that's the... I guess the topic for the day next to my full day of eating. So anyways, enough with the drama. Back to food. Looks like my eggs are done. Pretty sure my potatoes are done. Let's get that plated.
All right, guys, so here is meal number five. <clears throat> exact same meal that I had for meal one. And uh, I know what you guys are thinking. This is probably the most boring full day of eating video that you have seen. But guys, that's part of it. It's about being consistent. It's about, you know, just doing doing what you need to do. Making things that are quick and easy for you to make, you know. That's the key to consistency, really. Um, and yeah, I mean, the thing is, I want, I really want to be consistent today, tomorrow, so that when Saturday comes, when I get my blood test, when I get my blood drawn, I know, you know, there weren't any random outliers in my diet I know that this stuff that I'm eating on these days is what is going to show up on the blood test. You know, I don't want to have a cheat meal. I don't want to have a cheat day the day before something that, you know, is completely random that I don't normally do. I want it to be, you know, taking a scientific approach to this thing. and trying to do everything the exact same every day leading up to this. So there's no no room for questions, you know? So that I know whatever numbers that I get on there are from my steroid usage. So then I can get a good accurate reading and you know, I can make a good honest decision about what my next step should be. Now the thing is, if my triglycerides are high, if my creatinine and bun levels are off, if my ALT, AST liver enzymes are extremely high, then I know that I've got some work to do and that I need more time off, but I really don't expect that. I'm like 90% sure that my numbers are all gonna come back great so i feel great i've been off for a while you know i've been eating good i've been taking my organ supplements everything should come out i will be i will be pretty disappointed and baffled if i don't see what i want to see on my blood test but the thing is if you don't check it you don't know and i i need to know all right guys so i'm just gonna finish this meal and uh, that's my day. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for your support. If you have any questions, please email me at chaseirons at gmail.com um, or leave a comment down below. Remember, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Remember, nobody cares. Train harder, and I will see you all tomorrow.